am here with the masked singer from Down Under, Sheldon Riley. Hi. Hello there. Thank you for having me. So you've had your second rehearsals today. How did it go? They went really great. I mean, we still got a long way to go, but um, such a hard song to sing. But we're good. I mean, three runs at it. I think they've got what they need. <laughs> Yeah, as you say, not the same as a vocally challenging song. How do you keep your voice in shape for all of this Eurovision madness? Uh, just lots of sleep where I can get it, lots of water, lots of tea. I'm very well taken care of. And speaking of the song, it's a very personal song. Tell us a little about it. Yeah, it's a very personal song. Uh, I wrote it when I was 15. More or less just the idea that I didn't want to be defined by what people told me I could and couldn't achieve. So I realized I'm not the same and that's okay. And uh, now look at me. <laughs> Towards the end of the song, you, you take off your, your heavily diamond embraced mask. What is the message you want to tell with, with the face reveal? That I'm in control of what I expose to the world. I never really loved the way that I looked. so. Uh, taking the mask off is a power move for me to go, you are beautiful just the way that you are, and I hope that encourages other people as well. So many people put masks on every day to get through life, and uh, sometimes it's just as powerful to be able to take it off. As we all know, Eurovision is a big thing in Australia, and you were very excited, all of you, to, to get to participate for the first time in, in 2015. Um, you were emotional when you won. What went through your mind at that point? I just wanted it so bad and I was emotional because I was in a room where I no longer had to explain myself. It was so open and so honest and everyone, I, they just got it and it, it made me really emotional because I've wanted that all my life and of course, as I knew, Eurovision was the world that gave it to me. This year seems to be a, a year of, of songs with, with showing male vulnerability and, and, and male emotions. What are you, What is your take on that? I love it. I think it's amazing. And you've got Azerbaijan, Poland, uh, uh, Switzerland, so many incredible artists singing songs. I think it's important to remember that uh, everyone has feelings. You've been in The Voice Australia, X Factor, America's Got Talent. And it seems that this year is, is about people being 22, 23 years of age, being in The Voice. It's, it, we have you, we have Nadia from Azerbaijan, we have Jeremy from Belgium, Ackman oh, really? from Poland. Jeremy as well. That's hilarious. I mean, coincidence, I guess. We're all very different, but that's hilarious. All 23, 22, did you say? That's crazy. Well, nice talking point for me. And you've met, of course, some artists now, and, and you've also met, met some fans. How has it been for you to, to come into this Eurovision bubble and meeting the fans and the other artists? I love it. It's so good. I mean, meeting, um, meeting the fans is great. And then also being a fan, meeting Cornelia from Sweden, just dying because I'm so obsessed with her. And uh, meeting the other artists, it's, it's so much fun. Yeah, she said that, that she, she heard your, uh, your version of, of, of her song and, and was like, I need, I need us to do something together. Do you want to do that song together? I would love to do that. That would be amazing. Far out. I would, I would love that. So, Cornelia, if you're seeing this interview, Sheldon wants to do a collab with you. So, we got that in the book. Okay. Um, so, your musical influences, what would they be? Amy Winehouse, Adele, Lady Gaga. If we go back in the history of, of Eurovision, what is the single most important moment for you in Eurovision? Conchita. Uh, but also Barbara Pavi with Voila. Uh, that song also changed my life, reminded me to stay true to myself and my sound. And Conchita won in Copenhagen, so of course for us Danish people it has a special place in history as well. We have 40 songs in this year's Eurovision, and if you couldn't choose your own song, do you have a favorite amongst the others? Sweden, hold me closer, what a gorgeous song. I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> I'd also love to sing Poland's song, uh, River, what a beautiful song. Is there something you want to say to our viewers here at the end? Oh, just thank you so much for watching uh, in Denmark, right? Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to everyone from Denmark. I want to send you all my love. Mwah. Not the same is this year's Australian entry for Eurovision. And we will see you in semi-final two on Thursday. Sheldon, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Thursday. How crazy. <laughs> see you then.